Okay, folks, we're at the Wolf Driver household. We got uh, Big Jim back in the truck up. A little bit different of a setup today as we're picking up Chris P, our main man. <laughs> so he's backing up the fur wheel drive vehicle, which is the jumbo jet truck. Call it that because it uh, looks like it's a jumbo size with its six door layout. Speakers on top, it's a party vehicle and a dog loving machine. Wolf driver. Here come. Princess, come on good girl. And here's the pretty princess. Good afternoon folks. Wolf driver coming at you. Actually we're in the morning hours. Uh, it's 9.55 a.m. This is the 13th, November 13th, 2018. And I'm just gonna zoom in. I'm just using a little bit of a different camera here, so trying to get it used to what we're doing. It's making me look funny. <laughs> Maybe I'm funny looking. In any case, we're setting out to run a, about, probably we've been doing anywhere from uh, five driver. to 10 miles. Probably gonna do that again today. We're gonna be, we're not sure where we're gonna be. It's a little rainy outside. Uh, let me give you a view. That's looking out the window. And you can see the roadway there. And I'm gonna turn you, just let you see Jimmy's driving the truck today. And we're going to pick up actually Crispy. Crispy normally drives. But um, we're picking him up today. So we're, we're hoping to do, again, roughly uh, five to 10 miles. We're getting a late start, relatively speaking. We're in the daylight savings time now, so there's no daylight saved. It gets dark early is the bottom line. Uh, we can be out there in the dark, but of course, as we get later in the year, it becomes colder at night for us. So uh, we try to avoid the night runs during the fall, winter time. Um, you'll be seeing, keep watching this video and you'll be seeing how our adventure goes. As I make this video, it's yet to be told. So, um, we do have all the wolf pack with us. You can't see them now, they're in the back of the truck. And, uh, I'll be with you soon. This is Wolf Driver, signing off. Believe it or not, we're still in the truck. It's now 1... 15, 120. Wolf Driver. In the afternoon. And we're still looking for a trail to go to. Now, the reason this happens is because there's been a lot of rain in the area, we got a late start, etc. So we're trying to find, always in search of trails that we haven't done before. Sometimes that's a bit challenging because we've done so many trails, but lately, because we're just getting into the season and the dogs are getting older, I'm okay with doing less mileage for the dogs, breaking them in a little more gradually this year. Um, so it's gonna take a little while to get the trail that's right but we don't want to run out of daylight at the same time sorry if it looks like I'm looking at you sideways it's this camera <laughs> um, but hopefully it'll happen soon that's the bottom line uh, we can run at night like I said but that becomes a little more problematic because of the colder temperatures for us humans the dogs love so basically Jim and Chris are out on the trail or what we think is the trail let me try to Turn the camera around, and oh, to... hey, folks! And we made it. We found a trail. Your trusty old wolf driver here. I'm going to turn the camera around now, and we are at the. It says the Lanier Park. Wolf driver. But I know it's part of the Afreda Rail Trail. The Afreda, Afreda. And um, just a basic trail sign here. They got a mutt bit, so you uh, don't leave any debris from the animals behind. You can see what it looks like here. And there's residential area surrounding us. So um, it seems to be a big, um, a lot of war memorials. 
uh, tributes. Uh, this says Major Richard D. Winters Memorial Trail. Follow me. I don't know the significance of that. And this is another driver. really nice memorial. Take us over to it. And um, sorry, just trying to get you in sight here. Whoops. If I knew what I was doing, I might be dangerous. <laughs> okay, kind of cool there. So this says right here. If I can get the camera not to be crooked, I'm sorry. This is uh, I need to update my firmware here, but they are not dead who live in the hearts they leave behind. Tusquaro Indian Proverb. Euphrates Veterans Plaza is dedicated... Wolf driver. I'm gonna try to turn this, sorry, it's sideways. Is dedicated to all American servicemen and women from all wars. We hope that generations to come will honor the service and tell the stories of all who are memorialized here because he who is not forgotten is not dead. Samuel Butler said that. Um, again, sorry for... This is called Dick Winters Central PA Roots. Tells you a little bit about him. And um, basically, this is a memorial, and you can, I don't know if you can see on the ground there, but all of these bricks are inscribed with people's names, I guess, that some of this memorial is dedicated to. Wolf and driver. Taking you over, having your flags. Here's a, a poem or a writing. And that's where we're at, folks. So, taking you over now to the Wolf Driver truck. Parking lot here. I'm assuming this isn't all for trail traffic. We're seeing three miles of trail, which isn't much. So, we could do a round trip, which would be six. We we're hoping to do ten. Pardon me? Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So once again, if this is your first time with us, this is totally specialized for the dogs. They're two custom-built vehicles, they're called dog-powered go-karts. This is the, uh, probably, not the latest actually, but one of the most extensive with four-wheel drive. So each wheel is driven, not independently, but uh, kind of like a car. Each axle is driven independently. This is the Monster Mushmobile with the orange tires. and dogs get hooked here it's pedal and motor driven the four-wheel drive bike which Chris is pulling off now is actually the two motor bike real quick I'm going to show you the good boys and good girl so let's just get some of the tie-down straps situated and I'll actually show you, excuse me, Jimmy. Now, pardon me about the camera. This is the Jag Star. Mr. Driver. Jag. Mr. Jag's fresh from a vet visit yesterday. He got a good checkup. He's a good boy. Hi, Jaggy. So, Jag's roughly nine years old, all husky, all white, as you see, blue eyes. And uh, he's a bit of a joker. We call him Jag the Joker. He's a real cool cat. There's a rap song we made about him. Okay. Princess, she's the uh, eldest of the pack, close to 15. She might actually be 15 now. And this is the Chase Man. Chase is a uh, all-white husky with brown eyes, and Princess is an all-white husky with blue eyes. Mr. Zorro, are you ignoring us today? Zorro's just like not not tuned in. Zorro. Okay, come on. There's the Z-Man. Look, look at that. They switch positions on call. A lot of that, they do something like that. They give up territory to each other because he saw I called him and Chase was in his way and that's the way they what I call yield to each other so there's a hierarchy in all dog packs even a dog packs considered us just the owner and one dog even that would be considered a dog pack or I should say a pack and um, there's a hierarchy that always exists so we have to watch that chain of command us being the top of it always it's important now within that chain of command if there's multiple dogs there will be a hierarchy amongst them as well but we have to be the main pack daddy or pack mama otherwise 
there becomes behavioral issues and other problems. So, geez, he's such a good boy. These guys, Chase and Zorro, are about nine years old as well, and Princess is close to 15. Now I'm just going to shut the door. Back, good boy. Back. Making sure he's his ear is out of there. And just a quick tour around the truck. Wolf driver. Just so you know. Wolf driver. The truck's got Brockway hood ornaments and side badges. The Brockway's an old truck. Hop in. Okay, you're going to... So, I'm going to take you for a ride as we pull around. Wolf driver. You want to do this to get off the street, Chris? Yeah. Gotcha. So that's where we're at right now, folks. We've got the bikes across the street on the trail that I just showed you. We're backing up to put the... There wasn't enough room to put the trailer and the truck hooked together at the same point, at the same place on the actual parking lot, but we're going to go there now. And uh, I'll see you in a Wolf bit driver. as we set up. Hey folks, getting ready to get the rest of the equipment put on. I was just going to show you where we're at. So, not using much equipment today. I'm going to try to pull the camera down. Right here, we're going to basically have a camera just mount it a pole, if you will. See that pole? Uh, if you look back on some of our other videos, we we have multiple poles. We're only going to use two today, and I'm going to move that pole around. She can see it rides what I call the dog rail. That would be this rail. It's a bike, again, specially built for the dogs. They attach to it with the Springer, and we can also put our camera gear on it. So, using a GoPro, for those that Wolf care, driver. GoPro 7, with a, a battery case called a refuel and that prevents me from having to change batteries along the trail. This block, this is kind of interesting. Jag recently, and we're going to find that it might be because when he was at the vet yesterday, we discovered he had a lot of wax in his ear. So it might have been playing tricks with the sound, but recently he'd gotten scared of the tire sound when we hit gravel, when the tire makes a clicking noise for whatever reason. So we've built this little, what we're calling a Jag block, and he actually ran good on it. Now, You'll notice sometimes, if you see the video from last week, I was riding in the back and we're attaching them a little further out. This is just a, um, one of the devices I used to train the dogs originally. Jag's been trained, he's been doing this Wolf for nine driver. years, but trying to reiterate it in his mind that it's okay because he gets a little um, hesitant on it and that's just his nature. He's not a very confident dog. I've built a lot of confidence in him, but you'll notice I might be sitting back here encouraging him on and teaching him and Jim might be driving. Remember this is a two passenger vehicle. So that's where we're at. I will uh, show you shortly once we get on the trail. By the way for those of you that don't know this is the princess bed or actually any dog. Let me try to move this around. Sorry. I'm gonna try to put this in here. Um, I know you're just looking at the house across the street but this is a special bed we use for her, Wolf driver. Uh, or seat if you will. It's actually, you might have seen it on my motorcycle when I take the dogs out riding. Uh, it can be used on any of the dogs if they get tired, if they need a place to rest, etc. So um, that's always on board, all the bikes, especially as the dogs have gotten older. Using a little bit different of a carabiner design. These are a special carabiner you push there, and then you can actually open them up like that. I don't know if you saw that, but push there and open. Jim, the water's leaking, just so you know. Carry about five gallons of water with us, which lasts us through, uh, if, if we did 30 miles, it would last us. Sure. Chris is uh, putting headlight on for us in case we get caught in the dark. It's usually on there, but the last trail, if you watch the video, the headlight broke off going through one of the gates, so we're just fixing that back up. Hey, folks, Wolf Driver coming to you. From the trail, we're actually doing a water now. Zara's drinking some water, if you can see there. I'm trying to put it on the screen. There it is. So we've got about, I'm going to clock it, almost two miles in right now. Dogs have been running great. And just giving you a little 
salt tour. JC didn't even want any water. Jaggy don't want any either. Basically, I um, took a st quick stop to move the cameras around and Wolf driver. give everyone a view. Jag's doing great. Jag's been a little hesitant lately. I think I explained it to you. He actually had a little bit of wax in his ears and it was creating probably unusual sounds. So we put a wheel block here to dense to, to cut back on the sound, but we didn't know it was the wax until yesterday, so everything's good now. Jag's getting back into the groove of things. That's the princess. So Jag's on a little longer of a leash. And the sea princess is pretty in pink with a pink leash. And uh, that's where we're at right now. And I'm getting ready to climb in and continue our journey. Okay, folks. Taking another water break. Getting into the Wee hours, the dark Wolf hours, driver. I should say. Um, what time is it? Do you know, Jimmy? About 4.30. Daylight savings time is making it dark on us. So we're just taking a break, though, to get the dog some water. What a pretty princess. Pretty, you got something to say for the camera? Pretty says, oh, I'm going to turn with you. 4.30. <laughs> and here comes the D-Man. Hey, Mr. Zaro. Hi, good boy. This is how we water them, just so you understand. That's the chase them, by the way. Yeah, you want some water? Here it goes. He's the slower, slowest drinker in the world, I think. He says, I'll just wet my tongue and then I'm done. Wolf driver. So, the trail is looking beautiful. Unfortunately, they're building a bridge we didn't know about. So we were limited to uh, three miles up and three miles back. We've got about, uh, right now, let me see, three and a half miles. Wolf Driver. Okay, folks, I'm actually driving the dog cart right now, and Chase Man is right there if you can see him. And the Z Man is right there. We're humming along. We've got roughly four and a half miles in right now. And uh, we're getting ready to go through a cool little tunnel. You might have seen it earlier in the video since we looped here. There's Chase and Jag. Wolf Diver. Cool stuff. So I'm going to give you a view of this tunnel as we go through it. But day has been beautiful. It's about uh, 40. 45 degrees maybe and the trail got a little sidetracked because they're doing construction they were building a bridge so it's going to be great but uh just not open now so we had to make the most of it and do three miles out and three miles back now we might be able to get a little further as we come closer to where we started from i think there's a few miles we could get in there too uh we didn't start right at the beginning so i'm going to give you a view now of the bridge. Wolf driver. Sorry, the tunnel. And here it is. Coming coming to it. Uh, this is residential industrial a lot of this trail. And uh, but it's been pretty scenic. We started to get back into the countryside when the trail came to an end. <laughs> when they were doing construction. So it's Murphy's Law, but I'm sure when it's done it'll be great. Trying to adjust the camera here. Trying to give you a view of Zaro and the boys as we get ready to go through this tunnel. Wolf driver. We go through all kinds of tunnels. This obviously is a modern day tunnel, so cars can pass above. There's probably a 
Looks like a highway, a major highway. So taking our time. Because we have Princess, she's got in as much mileage as we've done today. She hasn't been in her seat at all. And that's really awesome. Sorry, the camera looks a little sideways. Come on, Princess. Come on. Sometimes you got to motivate her a little bit. Good girl. Good girl. And that's where we're at right now, folks. So right now, folks, we pulled over. Give Princess a ride in her seat. I'm showing you the rest of the, the gang. And, uh, sorry. Wolf driver. Getting nightfall here. And there's the pretty princess right in her seat. She rides on here on a three-point harness where it's hooked in three places. That means that she is secure, securely fitted. There she is. Hi, pretty princess. And we're ready to roll. We're going to be able to make some tracks now go a lot faster without princess and uh, there's the tunnel by the way that we just went through okay folks so we just finished roughly let me pull up the watch six miles and everybody did great that's the chase man that's the jag man coming around the vehicle you can see nightfall has set in princess is back down and she's right there and the Z-Man, Zaro. A little dark out here. But uh, we're getting it ready to wrap it up. And I'm giving you one more view. In a parking lot, this parking lot's used for a lot of things. Like I said, we, we are where, excuse me, we start it. Truck's there. Jim's putting water in the truck. The dogs have their own water bowls in there. And uh, we're gonna load them up. So uh, another great trip. A Little less mileage than normal. Uh, especially as the weather gets cold, we'll be, uh, able to do more mileage but uh still getting them in the training Wolf and uh, hopefully uh, next time out we'll be able to get a good 10-15 miler in this is wolf driver signing off <laughs>